Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim. Did you know that you can use Garmin Basecamp to add geographical location of where a photo was taken? Also, did you know you can import photos that contain the location information into Basecamp? We'll look at these capabilities in this video. First of all, this is an advanced topic and is intended for viewers who are comfortable using Basecamp and have watched most of my videos. If you're ready to explore the corners of Basecamp, then this video is for you. Before we get started, here are a couple of definitions. Geotagging is the process of adding the geographical location of where a photo was taken to the photo file's metadata. A geotagged photo contains the geographical location of where it was taken. Why would you want to geotag your photos, and why would you want to import them into Basecamp? If you can't remember where a photo was taken and it's geotagged, you can import it. The photo will appear on the map in the location defined by the coordinates stored in the photo. Basecamp treats the photo as a waypoint. You can use this waypoint as you would any other. For instance, you can add it to a route and you can export it to your GPS as a saved waypoint. On the Garmin Zoom OXT, it appears you can't view the photo, but you can see it as a favorite. Now, because your cell phone has a GPS in it, the phone can automatically geotag the photos you take so long as you have the feature turned on. Most cameras do not have a GPS, so the location has to be added to the photos. Let's look at the geotagging features in Basecamp to see how we can add location information to photos that are not geotagged. In this list in Basecamp, we have the track for June 1st of 2022 when we went to the Moonshine Store in Illinois. We also have the waypoint for the Moonshine Store. I will import a photo taken at a picnic table outside the store by clicking New, Import, and here's the photo. Click Open. Now Basecamp recognizes that the photo doesn't have any location information and asks if we want to place the photo at the center of the screen. Answering Yes places the photo on the map as a waypoint. If we look at the details of the photo file that we imported, we don't see any geolocation information. Why is that? Imported photos are copied to the folder Geotagged Photos, where your database is installed. Basecamp adds the location information to the copied file, not the original. Take a look at my video on Basecamp databases for more information on finding this folder. We know the photo was taken at the Moonshine store, so we want to move it to that location. Highlight the photo and activate the Move Point icon. Then grab the photo and drag it to the Moonshine store. We can compare the details before and after the move and see that the location data has been changed in the copied file. Basecamp has another geotagging feature. The program can use the time and location information contained in a track of where you've been and apply a location to a photo based on the time the photo was taken, assuming the camera recorded the time in the photo file. Let's see how this works. First, we need the track of where you've been. Plug in your GPS to your computer. You can navigate to the internal storage of your GPS in Basecamp and see the saved track files. Another way to get your historical tracks is to use your file explorer to navigate to the GPX archive folder on your GPS. Import the GPX files you find there. Alternatively, you can use Garmin Express to back up the GPS data to your computer. 
you'll find the historical track GPX files in the backup folders. You'll need to explore those folders on your own. If you want to keep copies of your historical tracks, you need to back up your device regularly because the archived files are periodically purged by the device. There are several steps required to set up for Basecamp to geotag your photos. Create a folder on your computer to hold the photos you want to geotag. Create a new list in Basecamp. Put the track for the day you took the photos in the list. Now you're ready to geotag those photos. Here we are back in our list in Basecamp. We'll right click on the track and select geotag photos using track. Basecamp asks for a folder where the photos are stored. Click browse, navigate to your folder, Select it and click OK. Then click Next. You have the option to import the photos into Basecamp or not. Click Next. Select the photo you, you want to have geotagged and click Geotag Photos. Then click Finish. Now you'll notice that the photo is not at the moonshine store where I took it. Why is that? Well, that's because the camera and the track are at different times. When we look at the details of the photo, we see it was taken at 11.35 a.m. When we look at the track details, we see that we were at the Moonshine store between 12.05 and 12.43 p.m. The times don't match because the camera is set one hour behind the GPS time. Let's delete the photo and import it again. Right click, geotag, Browse to the folder, click Next. This time we will add one hour offset. Click Next, select the photo, geotag the photo, and finish. Now we see that the photo is at the Moonshine store. If you don't have an entry in the track for the time a photo was taken, then Basecamp will skip that photo. That wraps up this video. It's an advanced topic, so spend some time with it and practice. I suggest you only work with copies of your photos and keep the originals separate. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Remember, you can find all my Basecamp videos on my website at easymototim.com slash Basecamp Tutorials. If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Also, many thanks to those who have bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.